Your love breaks like the light of day, your presence here like a mighty wave. 1 John 4 4 You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. I love this verse. I've grown up with my mum declaring this over our lives as kids and still as adults. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Did you hear that? The one who is in you, the Holy Spirit that is alive in you is greater, more powerful than anything that is in this world. Here's some more truth if it's not quite sinking in yet. Ephesians 1, 18 to 21. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his uncomparably great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. Far above all rule and all authority, power and dominion and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. We have the same power that raised Jesus up from the grave. We have authority to speak out against the darkness, fear, sickness, death, It's him in us that makes us strong. It's him in us that makes us brave. It's him in us that gives us confidence. It's him in us that gives us eyes to see a hopeful future. It's him in us that allows us not to worry. It's him in us that gives us the tools to fight battles bigger than ourselves. It's him in us that helps us to overcome darkness. It's him in us that gives us joy even in mourning. So when you feel fearful, in panic, overcome by darkness, know that it's him in us that can tackle and overcome all things. Not by our strength, but it's his strength in us. Romans 8, 26. And in a similar way, the Holy Spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness. For example, at times, we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for, but the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. 2 Corinthians 12, 9-10 But he answered me, My grace is always more than enough for you, and my power finds its full expression through your weakness. So I will celebrate my weakness. For when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. So I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. For when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. If you just take one thing from this devotional, it would be, Call on the name of Jesus. It's more powerful than you think. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this truth. I thank you that you're listening, that you're closer than I know. Thank you that I can talk to you at any time of the day. Your Holy Spirit that lives in me is my greatest weapon. With your strength, I can overcome anything. Amen.